Hey you guys, and today is Friday, February 15th, and today I'm coming at you with a celebrity bash Friday. Yay! So today, if any of you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you probably saw my tweet about this. I tweeted it yesterday, but I'm talking about the Pope resigning. I do not, like, follow the Pope. That's not my religious belief. I'm a non-denominational Christian, personally, but I respect all faiths. Um, I don't, like, I'm not one of those Christians that are like, oh, you're going to go to hell because, you know, you don't practice the same faith as me. Like, I just, I just don't feel like God is that intense and evil. Like, whatever. That's a different video for, like, a totally different day, um, but, yeah, I just wanted to talk about the Pope resigning, and I just want to say, like, this is really what our society has come to, and what really made me bring this up was because I saw a newspaper on my counter in my house, and this goes back to what I tweeted about, about the Pope. Well, this was the cover, like, of the, and this is from the Daily News, Broke and back home with mom. Now, I'm sorry. I thought it's a daily news. Not people. Not time. Not... What? What is that? The one... Um, the one that always has all the rumors on it. X, whatever that one is. This is daily news. The point of daily news is to put information out there that is important about our country. Not this boulder dash BS of Lindsay Lohan. Like, no one cares. I don't care. And for those of you who do care about Lindsay Lohan's life and whether she's broke or not, or who she's sleeping with, whether man or female, okay, or whether she's broke or not, or who, what car accident she's gotten into, what DUI she's into, just go and, like, stalk her on Twitter, stalk her on Instagram, stalk her, like, somewhere else. Like, why is this the cover of the Daily News? I don't understand. How is this news? How is this groundbreaking news? Who is this relevant to? And quite honestly, I'm so frick frack and sick and tired of hearing about Lindsay Lohan. Like, seriously? I don't care. I really just don't care. I think that it is great when you can find an actress or a singer, or a model, or someone in theater, or just someone in the entertainment industry, period, that you believe represents you and puts out this good image of what you want to be, or what you want to represent. That's fine. Everyone has their favorite actors, singers, performers, movies, songs, whatever. Everyone has their own favorite ones. I have my own favorite ones, too. But what I'm saying is that they are human beings, and I feel like people put them on this pedestal as if they are beyond mortal, but they're not. Like, seriously, if I get shot, what's going to happen? I'm going to get hurt. I'm going to feel pain. I'm going to bleed. And hopefully, this won't happen, but it is a high possibility I shall die. The four things I just listed of what could happen to me when I, if I ever get shot are the same four things that could happen to Angelina Jolie, Brad Pitt, Jennifer Lopez, Jennifer Hudson, Angelina, um, I already said Angelina, but like it could happen to any of these people. So I think that we need to stop putting them on these pedestals like they just can't be touched. I just, I don't understand. And then when, the other thing I don't understand about celebrities is like when they complain about constantly being in the media, paparazzi, okay, your job is to entertain, the paparazzi's job is to stalk you so that way your stalkers in the world can have an easier way of stalking you. And that's what your job is. Everyone that goes into this business knows that's what's going to happen, okay? So if you don't like it, quit. Quit. Up and move to puka poo okay go somewhere but seriously i just don't understand the complete and utter boulder dash that is going on with 
news. I just could not believe that that was on the cover of Daily News. The cover. Are you serious? There are other things in the news that we could talk about. And quite honestly, I don't watch the news. I don't watch television. I don't, you know, tune into any of these things because this stuff is just stupid and it pisses me the flux capacitor off. Like, I just can't stand it because it's so stupid. What's the point of watching the news? All you watch on the news is that some white person has committed a white collar crime, that some black or Hispanic person has like murdered someone or robbed someone, and then that's only 10 minutes, okay, of the news, and the rest of the 50 minutes is spent on celebrities. Like, oh my goodness. I don't care how many times Lindsay Lohan went to jail. I don't care if Ivy Blue is really the child of Beyonce and Jay-Z. I don't care if Beyonce really gave birth to her. This is the way I see it. Their stuff is not directly affecting me. I'm not the baby daddy of Ivy Blue. I didn't carry Ivy Blue or Blue Ivy, whatever the hell her name is. And best believe I will have a video talking about these stupid ass names that people be naming their children. Apple. Apple? Really? Really? Apple. <sighs> Listen, all I'm saying is that, seriously, something's wrong if a religious believer just kind of gives up. A religious leader, a spiritual leader, someone that was supposed to have specially been picked by, like, the High Almighty to, like, lead his people, he quits something's wrong. What? I just don't understand. I really just honestly don't understand. But that's what I want to talk about today. And next week's episode, I'm actually going to be talking about... Not necessarily a celebrity in general, but I'm going to be talking about an episode of Glee because any of you out there who watch Glee, I'm sure you saw that, you know, there were speculations and rumors going around about Britney, about Santana, sorry, and Quinn making out. And for those of you who saw last night's episode, we know it was a little bit more than making out, just a smidgen. So Glee is a show that I do watch and I'm going to be talking about Glee. So it's not so much celebrities, but so much more about the show. And my feelings on Glee and where it's going and where it's been and how I've gotten into it and everything like that. So as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and share because sharing is caring. As always, I'll put a link down below to my Twitter and my Instagram. Be sure to stalk me on there for more videos, um, well, for more information that I don't necessarily put on videos. And remember, if there's anything that you want me to talk about, whether it's like celebrity status or not, like just any general topic, if there's, uh, uh, you know, music you want me to review or if there's like a product, whether hair or makeup that you want me to talk about, just leave me a comment in my inbox or leave it down below and I read it, I respond, um... Yeah, and for those of you, I'm at 50 subscribers, which is, like, a huge deal for me. So thank you so much who made me up to 50. And I love you all. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I guess I'll be seeing you guys later. Bye.